In this video, we're going to be using First Canadian Shave Maximo and the Ralph Aust Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. And today, we're going to be using the First Canadian Shave Maximo uh, Shaving Soap, which has a really unique scent to my nose. I really like this. Um, it is not my, it's not the type of scent that I would normally gravitate to, but I really like it. We'll show you the description of it right there. Really, really nice scent. I find the scent to be slightly under uh, medium. Um, it's like cognac and Cuban cigars, kind of what it's made on, made based on, I should say. Citrus, tobacco, leaf, vetiver, a little bit of patchouli. Um, it's a nice scent. I really like it and I like the quality of uh, First Canadian shaving soaps in terms of the base. Again, I'm not a base guy. Most things will work really well these days if it's coming from a known artisan, but this is a very good quality soap and it comes to you for $18.99 for four ounces if you order from the razor company, if you're here in the US. $18.99 for four ounces or on our price chart there, $4.74 an ounce, which is a fair price. And if you consider this is coming across the border from Canada, not a bad price at all. The ingredients on this, good. We'll show them to you right there. Goat's milk, glycerin, lanolin, shea butter, some of the ingredients that I like. Really nice um, soap scent. Again, it's it's sort of not my normal uh, scent or one that I would gravitate to, but I just like it. And so I got that from the razor company, by the way. This is uh, the razor for today, is the Ralph Aus. Now this is considered a Spanish point, according to the documentation there on the website. Uh, almost looks like a barber's notch to me. Six eighths, I got this from Maggard Razors with a gift card I got for Christmas. So we're looking forward to using that today and we will work on this just standard 24 hours of growth because I'm an everyday shaver, every day, seven days a week. And actually, uh, since I shave the dome three or four times a week, every other day, I'm shaving lots. <laughs> I shave as much as I possibly can because I really enjoy it. Today we're using the PAA, um, this is the, I think it was called the Amber Arrow Light Brush with our Captain's Choice Bowl. And we've got a very nice lather with the uh, Maximo from First Canadian. If you haven't tried First Canadian and you're, at, you're in the US, check out the Razor Company because uh, they have stocked First Canadian now. And of course, if you're in Canada or maybe you're abroad, check out the First Canadian uh, website as he sells soaps directly as well. But I was really happy to see these stocked at the razor company. I like Randy, the owner at uh, First Canadian Shave, really nice guy. He participates in the community, which is awesome. And uh, it's just all around nice guy, hones razors, makes soap. He's sort of into a little of everything and no problem there with the lather. And also we won't spend all day on that because it's not necessary. So it'll be interesting to see um, how this shave goes, because I got this straight razor directly from Maggard's, and I've never tried a Maggard's Edge, so I imagine it will be good, because uh, if Brad is the one, I don't know if he's the one who owns these, I know he does own, and so he's been doing it for a long time, so I'm expecting that the Edge to be good, but you just really never know when you try razor whether you're going to like the Edge or not. It doesn't mean the, the honer didn't do a great job, it's, you know, there's a lot of preference involved. And that feels pretty nice, I must say, right out of the gate. Feels pretty nice indeed. Ralph Alst is a very respectable, modern uh, production razor that is uh, often recommended to folks. Because um, I think by and large, they do a good job and the blades typically aren't warped. You hear about like TI and um, Dovo often being warped. You don't hear about the Ralph Owls having that problem as much. However, I haven't owned enough of them to, to really confirm that. This is a good edge, nice, smooth, still sharp. And honestly, it's what I expected from Maggard. Assuming that uh, Brad Maggard is honing these, he's been honing for many, many years. So he obviously knows what he's doing. And if you've been honing for that amount of time, you know how to put an edge on the razor, and this is a good edge. And I find that most people have, who have been honing for quite some time, 
Um, I, I find that I typically enjoy their edges. And some guys that haven't been honing long, um, again, it's not splitting atoms. It does take patience, it takes finesse, it takes learning. But on the same token, it's not really rocket science. So you can learn to hone a straight razor. If you like, you put in the time. And I think a lot of it is just the work you put in on the stones, you know, just trial and error, constantly refining things. And most importantly, shaving those edges. You know, if, if you're not shaving the edges, you, you're really not gonna know. And so I think you really have to hone and shave those edges and then go back to the stones and make modifications as necessary and uh, again it's not rocket science but on the same token it does require some some practice and so from my own experience i realized you know it just took a while to to figure out what works best with your particular style and what you prefer all right very nice very nice no problem there so far. Uh, I really appreciate that, that edge and pass one. Again, this is a 6 8 razor. It was about um, $139, I want to say. And again, I used a gift card that I got from my uh, mother-in-law and father-in-law for Christmas. So thank you very much. Very nice razor. Happy to own it. And one of my goals for 2021 is just to try to obtain um, razors. One razor from each manufacturer, like one Dovo, one Ralph Alst, you know, Wacker, just, just obtain one. And for me, you know, I did the video the other day where I, I chose my favorite seven straight razors. And favorite for me involves sentiment. And so one of the things you have to understand is, although I know I got a lot of comments about the blue Wade and Butcher because of those scales, the gent shoes, and that is a fantastic razor. But the way that the razor scales looks doesn't shave you. It's all about the edge. And so a lot of those old razors that you saw on that video shave just as well, if not better than that weight and butcher. <laughs> so everyone is attracted to the way straight razors look and the scales and the fancy everything and the custom, but it's really all about the edge. You can have a razor that looks terrible if it has a great edge on it and that steel is up to snuff and you can get a great shave with it, you know. Uh, and of course, conversely, you can have a beautiful razor with a bad edge that shaves terribly. And so it is all about the edge when you're shaving this way. Some good feedback there. I'm sure you can hear. I really like hollow grinds, full hollow. That's just my preference. That's what I prefer the most. Uh, some people like wedgie razors. Um, for me, the, the more hollow, the better. I like the way it feels. I think it's because, the you know, it's thinner right behind the edge. It just feels better for me. Uh, I mean, some people prefer more weight, but ultimately, it's the edge that does the cutting, not the weight. And so if you have a sharp edge, it will cut. Just like you don't have to have a heavy uh, safety razor. If it's got a good blade, and with proper technique, you know, you can use it. You might prefer. So a lot of times weight is a is a preference thing. But really it's all about the edge. And I can't emphasize that enough. And this edge today is pretty doggone good, I must say. So I think you can uh, certainly buy a Maggard straight razor with confidence. Uh, this is the first straight razor that I bought from Maggard's. But uh, I'm very happy with the home job on it. And it came to me in good condition. Very, very nice. So, you know, there you go. All right. Now, I do rinse my blade in the sink. What I do is just hold it down like so. And I rinse it starting at like right there. Now, I know some people don't. But I find that when I try to wipe it off on a towel, the towel gets full. And then I start getting a lather all up on the blade. And I don't like that. So, so whatever you do, just use care the appropriate amount of care in doing whatever it is and 
and go with it. Looks like I got a little spot there. I might have scalped a bump today, but uh, that is okay. I have had a few bumps. I even had one on my head, well, up there from the other day that I scalped. And that's the one thing with these uh, straight razors. When you have an imperfection or blemish um, and the shavettes, it's coming off. <laughs> Unless you try to shave around it, and I typically don't, because I just figure, I'm going to scallop it and it'll heal, and, you know, no big deal. But anyway, it's, it's no big deal. I do like the edge here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Nice and sharp, smooth. It is a professional edge. I would call it a professional edge, at least. I'm not sure whether I scalped the bump there or what, but... No problem. Could be just a weeper. I don't know. Because I certainly didn't feel it or see it, but it's there. So <laughs> it is what it is. But I certainly didn't come in too hot up there. So I know that's not a memory line. Because you can feel it. When you make a memory line, the minute you do it, you're like, oh, you know you made a mistake. But on that one, I think I've just scalped something. So we don't worry about that sort of thing. All right. Third pass. I haven't talked anything about the doggone soap. That's no good of me, is it? Uh, the soap, very nice. Makes a nice creamy lather. Doesn't take all day to lather. I don't find it to be finicky. You know, I'll hear a lot of people talk about, you gotta dial it in. If I have to spend all day and night lathering the soap, I don't want it. <laughs> you know? Um, now, that said, I will occasionally Take one that's a little more finicky to lather. Like, for example, Mitchell's Wool Fat. Not everybody can lather Mitchell's Wool Fat well. And it sometimes depends on your water. And maybe even what... I've heard some people claim the quality control on Mitchell's isn't great. And I know Johan, and <laughs> he's going to be stroking out right now. But I have people who swear up and down that their puck of... Uh, wit, oh, no, I'm saying Williams. But I mean, Mitchell's Wool Fat is bad. And like, it just will not lather. And, uh, but I have not had a problem with it. Now, does it lather as easily as these artisanal soaps? For a lot of people, no. But it gets the job done. It's a good quality soap. But I will take some of those soaps like that. They're a little bit difficult, like Williams Mug Soap. If you follow the directions, I don't find that hard to be, hard to lather, but it does say to soak it, you know, so it's made for a mug. Yeah, I found if you follow the instructions verbatim, it lathers fine. But if something's like super finicky and you just have to be so careful with it to lather, you know, that's usually not for me. All right. I'm really enjoying the Ralph Alst razor. So far, it looks good. Shaves well. So it's got the, uh, for me, the entire package looks good and shaves well. And I like that design which they're calling a, a uh, Spanish point. I don't know if I said French point earlier. If I did, I made a mistake. They're calling it a Spanish point. Almost looks to me like a barber's notch, but you know, what do I know? <laughs> we'll show, you, show it to you without the lather on it. So what I'm doing here after I rinse, I take my towel and I just wipe. I don't wipe the edge. I'm just wiping the center of the blade just to keep the water from running down. And there is your blade there and as you can see it kind of resembles a barber's notch which i'm very attracted to that design why i don't know i just am you like what you like in the same way that we like certain scents and i love you know booming bright citrus scents or clean fresh it's just you know it's what appeals to you and i think this is a beautiful razor it just got plain um, black scales, but I don't have any problem with that. To me, that's a very classic look, and I like that. It's very traditional in its look, and again, I appreciate those sort of things. I don't always need to, everything to be flashy. Now, I do appreciate nice looking, sometimes flashy. I love those silver loaf custom scales on that weight and butcher for gentleman's use, but they don't do anything for the shave. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all about the edge. And uh, this is a very nice edge on this razor, so. If you get one from Maggard's and it says they honed it, you're gonna get a pretty good edge, at least 
at least it is for me. But, you know, it's kind of like blades, like one man, when they use a, uh, a particular safety razor blade, they go, this is the best blade I've ever used. And then the, the next guy goes, this is terrible. That's a terrible blade. I can't stand Astra's or I can't stand Feathers or, you know, whatever the case may be. The same, the same situation applies with hones or honing jobs. Some people like a certain style of honing and a certain feel of an edge or maybe coming off certain stones. And some people do not. So it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just a preference thing. But for me, this one is a winner. And usually when I get a, um, when I get a razor from a professional, I don't strop it before I use it the first time because I want to get their edge as it came to me. And this one was very good. So I didn't strop it. I used it. It's beautiful. Very good edge. Very nice razor. And I would say that Ralph Aust is definitely one of those modern manufacturers that you can buy from, I think, with confidence. I won't promise you the razor that when it gets to you it will be perfect, but it's recommended a lot and for good reason. This is really a magnificent uh, razor. Beautiful shaver. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Very, very nice, and I enjoyed it today. Okay, that was a really nice shave. Let me rinse, and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. And that was a very nice shape. I did scalp a little raised spot there, but otherwise, no no problem today. It was a very nice shape. It wasn't perfect because of the scalping, but overall, that felt very, very nice. The soap, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. It's, it's an unusual scent for me, but I like it, and I appreciated this soap. First Canadian, really good quality soaps. I enjoyed that very much. We used the PA Allen Block off cam, uh, almost no stinging whatsoever. So the edge on this razor was quite good as it came from Maggard's. And again, this is the Ralph Aust. This is Spanish, 0.68, about $139. Very nice razor and I enjoyed it uh, very much. We used the uh, PA Amber Arrow Light Synthetic, which was awesome. And of course our daily driver, the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. And we shall finish off with another first Canadian aftershave today. It is the MF. <laughs> and it, this one smells great. This is this is full on in my wheelhouse. It smells, it's a wonderful uh, citrusy type scent. It's based on Creed. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but it's really wonderful. If you have a chance to get it, I recommend it. Very, very good. And just like that, we've had an excellent shave and I hope your shave today was excellent too. I hope to see you back here tomorrow because I will certainly be here. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.